Hi everybody. Um, so I re was recording this hashtag killer game on here, but it is really, really, really boring and super uber confusing. So I was exploring the site to see if there's anything better, because I love this show and it's coming back out. Or the new season's gonna start tomorrow. So I thought I might as well just get to the psych mode and play some games. So then I found these quizzes, and this is the psych reference quiz, and I want to see if I remember everything. So first question: When six feet under the sea, Sean and Gus hide in a very small hold of a boat. Their bodies pressed together. Sean says, "I feel so Clooney right now." To which George Clooney movie is reference? Oh, I remember this episode, but I'd never seen one George Clooney movie, I don't think. This is the episode with the seal, and they're trying to say shabby. I think that's... Return of the Killer Tomatoes, Ocean's Eleven. Ooh, the only one I know of his is Ocean's Eleven, so that's the only one I have heard of, so let's see if I'm right. Oh, we'll find out at the end. Number two. Leland Bossy... Bossy? Something. Hi, Alum. Mindy Helling calls Lester. That's a long name. Barnaby, Barnaby Jones in the episode Murder, Murder, Anyone Bueller. Who played the character of Barnaby Jones in the 70s? <gasps> I literally just watched this yesterday. I think someone's coming. Never mind. I think I just watched this yesterday. Let me think. Well, let me think. Um. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say Tom Selleck. I don't remember. I have the worst memory. Three. If Disco didn't die, it was murdered. I don't think I've seen it. Sean and Henry argue about who will neg the price of a used car they're about to buy. Sean tells Henry to stand down. Popeye Doyle. Oh my god, I've seen this episode. I remember. I've seen this episode. Which famous movie does the character Popeye Doyle appear? Um. Popeye Doyle. Um. Character of Popeye Doyle. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume the Popeye movie. I love this movie. I own it. I just haven't seen it in a long time. So I hope I'm right. At the end of the episode, Gus walks into a bank. Sean says to Gus, Go ahead, slap me in the face. Tell me they call you Mr. Tibbs. Which actor plays the character of Mr. Tibbs? I don't know. Let's try this one. I don't know any of these. I feel... I, I know the episodes. I remember the episodes and what's in them. I just don't know the references. I know the um, Breakfast Club references. And the Scooby-Doo references. And... Not that much references, but these ones I don't know. Anyway, number five. And there might be blood. Sean yells, Love Brokers, making a reference to the 1982 movie Night Shift. I don't know. I mean, if I see this movie, I don't pay attention to who rec directs them. Six. In Daredevils, Sean introduces himself as Die Hard and Gus Die Harder. In the third movie of Die Hard franchise, the Die Hard with Vengeance. Which children gamed as an antagonist co-op in order to get McLean to do his bidding. Oh, oh what was this? Uh, I don't think it was Hopscotch. I think it was Simon Says or Marbles. I'm just gonna go with Simon Says. <laughs> um, in the greatest adventure of history of basic cable... Uh, Sean tries to distract the bad guys by offering this little known fact, the secret of Nihim and the secret of my success. Same secret. What does the acronym in IHMH? Um. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no clue. Honestly. I'm going to assume it's this one because it makes sense. I know. I feel so bad. I knew all these episodes. Uh, this is the one where the power goes out. 
And la everyone thinks last year killed a guy, but he didn't. Shout out to Chloe, the one point I became a closure, making a reference to a famous detective. I don't know. Fox. It seems like it. Can I get the psychic vision and make a reference seeing kung fu fighting in the episode of Christmas Joy? I have no clue. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, pretty sure it was not Bob Marley. But, yeah. I failed this entire quiz. The episode Ghost. Oh my gosh. This is the one I was going to watch, but then I changed it. And I'm watching the one where his mom, or not where his mom, where his uncle comes. The is the issue of Dynamite Magazine featuring the two lead actresses of Square Pigs. One of them is Sarah Gush Parker. What is the name of the other actor who played in the character of Lauren? Oh, I didn't know she played in this movie. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I got any of these right. I'm like, doing so bad. Uh, murder, murder, anyone, Bueller. So I declared at one point that they've been following the wrong John Hughes movie in order to solve the mystery, he says. This is the one where he's making all the Breakfast Club references, and then he's talking about Flubber for a minute. This isn't the Breakfast Club or Curly Sue or Mr. Mom. It certainly isn't Flubber. In 1997, John Hughes produced the movie Flubber with a classic remake, which is Disney classic. Um, I think it was the absent-minded professor. I think. I think. In the episode, any given Friday night at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central, Sean and Gus tell Laster that the reason they weren't intentionally re reachable in the chef book, one of them is because of their biannual Ray Don Chong movie marathon. Which one of the films? I have no clue. So let's just go with the one it's on. Oh, I got, oh my god, I got one correct. Oh, I got three correct. Oh my gosh, I got that correct! I did some thinking on that one. I got that correct. Oh my gosh, I got that correct. I got six, five correct. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. <laughs> I got five correct. Okay, so let's play... Um, let's do... I've heard it both ways. Uh. <laughs> okay, sorry, my friend Catherine texted. Depending on whom you talk to, Pluto is either a planet or a dwarf planet. It's a dwarf planet, and it's not. <laughs> Where Sun Spencer might say, you heard it both ways. Facts and figures in every psych episode fly by faster each session, and only viewers who pay close attention can really discern facts from hearsay. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to not do good on this one too, but let's take it anyway. Number one, when Sean and Gus enter a crash plane to find a dying billionaire, Warren Klein, in the episode He Dead, Gus asks him for what kind of advice. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I remember this one. Oh, what did he ask him? He asked him about stocks. Yeah, he asked him about this. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, in the think tank, Sean asked security expert Walter Showitin. Oh, when they were going to ride hot air balloon with Mr. Bonaventure, will record the outgoing meshes on his entry machine. Um. Um. Uh, I don't remember this episode. I don't think I've seen it yet. And Sean takes a shot in the dark. Sean is able to leave a trail of his kidnapping for others to follow by... I don't know. I must... Uh, 
sense. Oh, this is where he's trapped in the car by the guy that had to do with the ice cream truck. And he, he didn't leave notes on the road. He, like, left signs. Or he was texting. He was texting. <laughs> I remember, because he texted, like, really weird acronyms. Um, and high noonish, John and Gus try to fit with the rest of the old western town by dressing it. They were they only dressed up for it. <laughs> I remember because I thought Sean looked really stupid. The end of a very Juliet episode. Juliet and her ex-wife and Scott agreed to meet up again in one year. Actually, no, it was both. It was both. First, it was three years, and then he said she said two years, and then. He said one year, and then she said, it's a deal. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Will you please get those put up? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, that was my group. Anyway. Um, I want to say I heard it both ways, because they did say both. Okay. The episode, Thrill Seekers and Hellraisers, Ruby's group of friends got their adrenaline pumping by doing which of the following. This is when she, Gus had that really weird girlfriend, right? They only did rafting in that. If you can handle the truth. Oh, this is the one with John Cena. <laughs> this is the one with John Cena. Because it's Juliet's brother. And you can handle the truth. Both Sean and Edwin. Edwin? Something introduced Gus as with the name or the followings. Um, I don't remember, so I'm going to say I heard it both ways. I don't remember at all. And high top fade out, Sean is incredibly impressed by Gus when he learns that he performed in the group. Yeah, he just performed in the group. When death is in the air, we learn that Sean has an irrational fear. Which of the following actors? I've never seen this one. So I'm going to say her to both of them. Santa Barbara... Press in the head, the tail. The whole damn episode. Did I see this one? Because Detective last year, nickname. Detective Dipstick. I remember because this is the one where he um, says that instead of a shark attack, it was murder. But no one believes him because there's shark bites all over him. So yeah. Show the signs. And upstairs bedroom. She does both. She is weird. Sean decides the killer's identity in a very Juliet episode by finding fingerprints, seeing the trap tree set. That wasn't this episode. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Never mind. Wait a minute. Yeah, it was. I don't... I don't think he found... No, it was just a tree sap. Oh, I got the first one right. Oh my gosh, I did really good. Huh. I did a lot better than I thought I did. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's do... Um... Let's do Gus or Sean 2.0. Sean and Gus may be opposites in ways, but these two are best friends. Sounds like me and my best friend Sarah. Take their quad. Okay. <laughs> uh, Who would not use a toilet in his hotel room because it was romantically decorated rose petals? Gus. I remember. See, this is a quote I should have taken at first because I would have done really good on this one. Who tried to get the last minute financial advice from dying billionaire Sean Investor? Or Gus. Okay. Who needed to see sports psychologist Sean? Who had to pretend to be a corpse named a cor named Detective Miles in order to help get information from the police? 
Um, Sean, I think it was. Which one of our detectives dated a girl named Gina with a weakness for cheesecake? I'm pretty sure that was Sean. Wait a minute, no, it was Gus. I think it was Gus. Dang it. Who once pushed out of a romantic nighttime carriage ride? That was Sean, because Gus pushed him out. We dressed up like the character from different. Um, gonna say Gus did. I don't remember. Who was talked to to doing an impression of Sloan? I'm gonna say Gus. I don't remember this one either. Who was the movie poster? I'm, I'm gonna say Gus. Uh, who snuck two muffins into his pocket? Well, I'm going to say Sean. Who liked Juliet used to have plastic coin purse with the picture? Um, I'm going to go with Gus on this one. Gus did. He was freaking out. I remember that episode. I watched a couple days. Who had a crush on their teacher? Um, I think it was Sean. Who writes an annual holiday letter? Pretty sure that's Sean too. Who got to wear a blacksmith outfit? Go ahead and say Sean. Okay. Well, I got this one on. No. Yeah, I didn't remember that episode. And I didn't remember that one. Who is the one? Okay. Oh, was Gus? Oh, I did really good. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here today because I have to finish cleaning my room. So, hope you guys had an awesome time watching it. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye.